Hello, here's the latest addition to Agnotes mapping. Now before you can print or email the map, you can also make a quick drawing on it. For example, our trucking company is asking for a map where to deliver and unload the gypsum loads. Now in Agnotes mapping, we can make a quick drawing to show exactly where the loads need to be unloaded and how to get in there into that unload area. So to do that, we just need to click on one of the colors. So we get the colors, we get the eraser and delete. Let's select red color and the loads, the gypsum loads need to be del delivered here. So I'll just put two X's and also I'm going to mark how to get in there from the street, from the H street by this arrow. And once the drawing is done, simply click on the email button at the bottom, bottom right, select the email. and add some additional notes. So here I could say, please unload the gypsum on the east side of the field 208 as marked on a map. And there's the red arrow how to get in there and email or send it. But for now, I'm going to close it and I'm going to print just to see how the map looks. So let's click on print. It will take a few seconds to generate the PDF. And here's our map. And this is what would have been emailed to a trucking company. So let's close it and let's do one more. This time I'm going to mark fields which need to be sprayed and I'm going to email that to my applicator. So I'm just select S1, 206. I select my applicator, add few notes. Please spray these fields by November 15 and send. And our map has been emailed. Let's do one more example. There are a few things which may not be obvious at the first glance. So let's select the drawing tool. I'm going to select, um, I need to spray this field and this field. And I'm going to email this map to my applicator. So I'm click on email. Here I can select the applicator email. By the way, now we see three emails here. If you want to add a new one, simply type in a new email and press tab or spacebar on your keyboard and the new email has been added. All the new email addresses which you add in this box will be remembered by Agnote. And next time when you will be emailing a new document from within Agnote, that new email will be listed on this list. And if you want, you can go to user settings and add to your favorite recipient email list, a new email address or remove email addresses which you know you won't be using anymore. That's on emails. Another thing that I want to point out, for example, in this case, we want to send this map out. There are two fields, the S2 and the other one. And sometimes, hey, what was the field called? You can actually move this dialog box to the side. It's movable. So just move it to the side, add your notes and send it. The last thing I want to point out is this maps legend at the bottom. Currently it's visible. If you would prefer not to show this maps legend on a PDF file, you can hide it just by clicking on this eye icon. And if we print, you just go and print, that legend will also not show up on a printed map or emailed map. And there you have it. That's the latest addition to Agnotes mapping. Thank you.